I see Paris back there with uh, kickoff return. Is that an uh, option for him? Damn, Dan, why you got to tell everybody? Well, you, you did hey, well, Dan, everybody ain't got to know. You did it on Sunday in front of... You know, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, uh, yeah, he's back there. So, no, he's he's done it. He did it at Ohio State. Uh, he did it as a rookie. And, uh, you know, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. But, he, you know, you, you see him with the ball in his hands. He's a electric guy with the ball in his hands. So, uh, we're going to work him back there. What did you see from Eric this past week as a returner? Obviously, uh, you know, back in there. Yeah, I mean, he's, just, he's growing. You know, he's. I always tell those guys, it's not what you're going through. It's what you're growing through, right? So it's just, it's a maturation process for him. Every situation is a new situation in this league for him. And he just has to, you know, grow his way through it. He'll be all right. He's, he's a young returner in this league uh, that has upside. And he's, he's a good football player and he's a good young man. So... He's just getting better every week. What happened on the on the grand miss on, on Sunday? It didn't look like a typical yeah, grand just, kick. He just missed it. You know, it, it you know, as, as perfect as we think Graham is, every so often he'll he'll show you that he's not, right? But uh, no, Graham, he's done a great job ever since he's been here, and we yeah. lean on him big time. So, yeah, he you know he just missed it. You know, so there's no excuse. There's no you know great mystery. It's just kickers will miss a kick from time to time. I think in the games that Saquon has missed, you viewed Belton as the personal protector. Is it as simple as if Matt's going to be like yeah. kind of everyone, you just don't want to have yeah. that role on top Absolutely. of it? Yeah, I mean, it's quite that simple. Yeah, it's not, it ain't rocket science. You know, it's just pure math, you know. So we just got to make sure we take care of our guys and, and be smart in how we use them. How much better did you feel about your unit after that game than you did in the previous week? Well, I mean, obviously, if you had six penalties the week before and you clean up and you have none, uh, that's a small win for you. So we just got to make sure we continue down that same same path and uh, just be the smarter team and, and you know execute the fundamentals and the techniques of the scheme at a high level when we need to do it and not just do the minimum just to not have penalties. We're like a third of the way into the season. Has the kickoff rule that got so much attention in the offseason, has, have you seen an impact of that? You know, we'll, I think we'll see in the back end of the season, you know, when it's when the ball's not flying as far, uh, you know, instead of those balls going nine deep into the stands, when, you know, they're at the one, the two, the three yard line, it's 40 degrees, 30 degrees outside. We'll see what teams are really wanting to do, whether it's a fair catch or return it. So. I think it's still a work in progress, but you see a lot of touchbacks. You do. Is it bad to ask if everything is all sunk in for Jamie, or is it, you know, you still? Uh, you know, Jamie's a young punter in this league. You know, he's, he's been around for a little bit, but he's still young and he's learning and he's growing. You know, those the guys that stick around and play for a long time, they'll all tell you. The guys that played double digit years, 15, you know, 12, 13, whatever the number is in the double digits, they always talk about finding their process. And I think Jamie is, is and some guys like Jeff Eagles, when he was here before he played 20 something years, he said he didn't really find his routine until year 10, you know, and that's the thing that carried him for the next 10. So, I mean, these guys are trying to, uh, guys like Jamie are trying to find their process and find the thing, the routine that works for them. And I think he's, you know, he's moving in that direction. And uh, he's, he's doing a good job. The guy works his tail off, so you can't complain about it. Okay, Tom, one more. Darnay played a lot of special teams in the past. He's playing more this year. What have you seen from him as a gunner? You know, Darn Darnay's done a, a really good job, you know. And, again, this is, you know, part of being a player in the National Football League. You know, he came in as a rookie, started at the nickel, you know, coaching change, you know, competing for a job, bring a guy in, draft a guy. And it's just, it's one of those deals where, you know, Dar Darnay's a skilled guy. He can do a, a bunch of different things. He can return kicks and punts. He can play the nickel. Like he's a very good football player. So, and he, and he's willing to do whatever it takes to try and get better. If you watch him, if you guys are out here, y'all watch everything else, but he's out here every day with somebody else doing something to try and make himself better. And, uh, you know, he's just – he's growing as a player, and that's the most important thing. Again, he's a young player in this league, and he's getting better every week. And he's working to get better. And that's that right there is, is key.